two bud number one drill. As the punch comes at me here, and I block, I parry, I trap, and I strike, then I go to the arm bar. That's only if you want to go to control. There's nothing in Hapkido that says that every technique that you have to do goes to control. I teach 66 different punches from white to black belt in Hapkido and 73 different kicks. So if that's true, then what am I doing with my punches and my kicks if I'm always just grabbing a joint? When he throws that punch at me here, this first strike here is going to be pretty hectic in the first place. Now I'm going to come across here. He's going to pull his hand back. He should. As I'm hitting here, this is going to be a strike. If, he, if, he, if I can't pull this, it's no big deal. Which way is he pulling his hand? Boom, I'm going to punch him right in the jaw, drop an elbow in just like that. And now I've got exactly what I want again. Step through, break that inside leg. That's what that axe kick is for. That axe kick ain't to drop on somebody in a tournament at head level. Okay? Block, parry, trap, fold with an elbow strike, come back, pull their head forward. Drop in, tricep here, boom, bring that knee straight back up to the jaw. Drop that elbow strike right here, break that arm. There is nothing that says that I just have to go to a control hole and hold you. It's great because then I can come up into here. I can come back to here. I can step around, take outside the and pull him all around over here, then take him back down into here, and then I can play all day long. But at the end of the day, in an actual confrontation, boom, that punch. This punch followed by that elbow, followed by this kick, is going to do wonders for my Hapkido technique that I'm going to follow up with. Once again, I am Jim Hogwood, and this is Chris Edwards.